This story appears in the June 30, 2021 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia This story is part of Forbes coverage of Malaysia's richest 2021. See the full list here. Malaysia's pandemic hit economy, which contracted 5.6% in 2020, was expected to get back on track this year. But the country is now grappling with a surge of COVID-19 cases. While the benchmark stock index was up a modest 2.5% since we last measured fortunes 15 months ago, the nation's richest saw their combined wealth rise 14% to nearly $90 billion, after two years of decline. This reversal of fortune can partly be attributed to the country's dominant position as the medical glove maker to the world. In a pandemic year, as global demand for such protective gear exploded, Malaysian exports of rubber gloves doubled, boosting the wealth of the nation's largest producers. Five of them feature among the 50 richest, with two, Lim Wee Chai of Top Glove and Quan Kam Hon of Hartalega Holdings, ranked in the top 10. This year also saw the return of Lim Kwang Sia, who controls Kosan Rubber Industries with his siblings, and Stanley Tai who co-founded and runs Supermax Corp. with his wife Cheryl Tan. None of them, however, were wealthy enough to dislodge Robert Kuik from his long-held perches no. 1. The Patriarch, who presides over a property and commodities empire, has a fortune of $12.2 billion and at age 97 is the oldest member of the list. Kwek Leng Chan, the second-generation head of the privately held Hong Leong Group, remains at no. 2 with $9.6 billion. Kun Po Kiong, who shares a metals fortune with four siblings, was this year's biggest dollar gainer. Shares of their press metal aluminium holdings were up as the metals prices recovered, adding $3.4 billion to their wealth and propelling Kun and his brothers to third place. Five new entrants added a fresh dimension to the list this year. Brothers Tan Yu Ye and Yu Wei of Mr. DIY Group, a listed home improvement chain, are the richest newcomers with $2.7 billion. The other four new listies are all based in Penang, a busy tech hub, which benefited from the US-China trade war as global companies sought to diversify supply chains. They are Tan Eng Ki, co-founder of Greytech Technology, a maker of factory automation equipment, Ing Chai Eng and Lao Chi Kiong, co-founders of engineering services firm UWC, and Stephen Scharf Kok Teng, co-founder of Vitrox, a maker of high-precision machine inspection systems. The pandemic took its toll on 19 listies, whose fortunes fell. Among the hardest hit were casino moguls Chen Lip Kiong and Lim Kok Thay. Seven from last year dropped out, notably the AirAsia duo, Tony Fernandez and Kamarudan Merinan, as the ongoing pandemic dimmed hopes of a revival in travel. The cutoff for the list increased to $315 million from $255 million last year.